Join us this week as Big R's Maverick and Chief, Adam Carroll, has a close encounter with a beautiful bull elk on the Hart Ice Ranch. Will he tag out with this exclusive herd bull? Tune in this week to the Maverick to find out. For eight years, I've taken you on the hunt. We've traveled to the ends of the earth and faced beasts beyond imagination. We've had some epic times. Unbelievable, yes! Awesome! Now that I have a child, I realize how important my legacy, our legacy, will be to leave behind. The spirit to do more, be more, give more against all odds or popular demand, that's the spirit of a Maverick. So join me every week as we learn a Maverick story. Help fulfill their dream hunt and make the world a little better for all. Join me like so many friends who already have. And together, let's create a legacy for generations to come. This week, Adam Carroll, Big R's Maverick and Chief, joins us at the Hartice Ranch in search of the biggest, baddest herd bull in the land. You picking up hitchhikers or what? You bet, What's you up, bet. brother? That's what my mind is excitement. You <laughs> How you doing, brother? I forgot what you look like. Take the glasses off. I haven't forever. seen you in it's ages. Forever. All I've done is age a couple of years. Like Let's it. get this show on the road. I like it. Adam arrives early at the Hartice Ranch to get a jump start on a huge bull elk. I have a few loose ends to tie up, so I send Kuji out with Adam to get a jump start. Right now we got Adam Carroll from Big R here. Incredible friend, great guy. These guys are kicking butt. He's killing a big bull with me in the next few days. He's out there with Kuji. Kuji is an amazing caller and guide. I'm so grateful to have guys like this working with us on the Hart Ice Ranch. Bobcat Pond is a myth. I've never seen a bobcat. I probably never will. Well, actually, Mark Bentley brought it to fruition. After proclaiming it for many years, we have the first footage of a bobcat at the pond. So it is officially Bobcat Pond. It's night one. We're in the Apache blind. Just got all set up. I'm super pumped. Hopefully we ought to get some elk coming in here soon. Been really hot today, so they need water, but it might be holding up in the shade until late. So. It is really important to practice, but not just so much practice, it's perfect practice that gives you confidence. So when that perfect shot comes with a giant bull elk screaming in your face, you make it happen. Feels way better. Standing. It's the end of day one. We, uh, we hiked up in here and got in the blind set for the night. Didn't see anything. The evening is pretty hot. I think they uh, gonna come out a little later just because of the heat. But it's pretty fun. I'm excited to, uh, to get to day two and uh, get back at it. I am really looking forward to joining Adam and Kuji on this hunt. We're gonna get this thing done. Thank you. 
so that looks so far, but it's hard to get out and chase these things. Okay, Coocher is going to get us in the line. Let me see some help here so. Way before the season started, we put this blind in place. I am so happy to see the location of this ambush blind. There are so many elk on the trail cams, it fires us up. So here we are back at the Hartes Ranch. Adam Carroll himself. Now what are you envisioning on this hunt? Envisioning some elk just piling in right up in your face. It'd be awesome with this cool weather if they'd let out the first like bugle of the year. Yeah. That'd just make the hair raise on the back of your neck. So it is, the temperatures are cooling down. That is a big point. We're really focused on that because the elk are gonna start turning up. They're just starting to group up. It's early September. We got a great strategy. We got some great blinds we're gonna be hunting tonight and some areas that we don't hunt very often. We only kind of sneak in and sneak out. Now we are heading toward the remote Banderito cabin to settle in for the night. We're gonna get up in the morning. We're gonna go up the canyon, what's gonna be in our face. We're gonna work up through there. we see if we can't find a bull. We find them, we're gonna get up above them, we're gonna get the wind right, we're gonna get them to walk right to us, and then we kill them. Sound cool? I like that. That sounds perfect. We're gonna go for a little hike, and we're also gonna go see some animals. We're gonna head up the canyon, we're gonna get up on this ridge, and if there's elk out in front of us, they're gonna work toward us. But it should be a real good morning. It's calming down, cooling down. This week's supposed to be a lot cooler, so those elk are gonna start ramping it up. Should be good. Ready to go? Let's do it. Let's go to our ranch. Here. Adam and I are sitting right on Tercio Ridge on the edge of the thick forest. There's elk over there. Thermals are caused by the ground warming the air. This happens after the sun is time to heat the ground surface. Three main factors that affect thermals, time, terrain, and temperature. A steady wind will negate any effect thermals have on airflow and can also work with thermals to carry your scent in an uphill or downhill quarterly direction. That's a good bull. There's three bulls there. Look at the one on the right. That one's a big bull. It is important that once you put your eyes on a bull of a lifetime, you need to methodically close the distance, carefully taking into account the wind the thermals, noise, terrain, if you are going to have the opportunity of that once in a lifetime shot. So we're gonna let them make a mistake and we're gonna kill them. What do you say? I like it, I like it. We have the elk right where we need them. We're gonna head back to Banderito Cabin to collect our things. But first, we need to stop by the 360 pond to collect the trail cam pitch and make sure that Clint has all the proper gear for tonight's set. I just went and checked the trail camera for the last seven days. There's been elk in here morning and evening. And there's three good bulls. There's one giant bull that we hadn't seen this morning that was in here a couple days back. The bulls we saw on the hill this morning, they've been in here this morning, last night. I think it's a great opportunity. It smells like elk all over in there, it's crazy. So Clint's gonna be back here up in the tree stand. Let's do this. Right here we have the Conquest Sense, the Ever Calm Herd Stick. This is to really calm the elk down, make them feel like there's other elk in the area. And what it does, it masks our scent. They're walking through the high grass, they're catching a whiff of this, not me.
While Clint enjoys the bird's eye view on the ridge, Adam and I are waiting patiently in the ambush blind. As planned, we will be able to pick up where we left off earlier in the day. We will wait and hope that the elk comes to the water's edge. As night falls, we have seen some huge bull elk, but none close enough to shoot. So we're packing up and heading back to the lodge. Almost anything, Big R's got it. BigRonline.com Excalibur Crossbow, the most accurate hunting crossbow. ExcaliburCrossbow.com Badlands, truly unconditional. BadlandsPacks.com SKB Cases, stronger, lighter, purpose built. SKBCases.com The Bow Hunter's number one selling fall away rest. Ripcord Arrow Rest.com The Maverick is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. This is my secret weapon. Let me show you, my friend. For Elk Inc., one of the new calls for all season, early, mid, and late season bugle. Here, just take a listen. We're heading up the top. Let's see what we see. Then we're gonna head down the bottom. See what we see. And then we're gonna head up to the next top and we're gonna kill. So that's the plan. We spotted a group of bulls that might be the same as which we saw at the 360 pond. I think they are going to head up the hill to the next ridge. And we're gonna to try to intercept them before they bed down for the day. You have to walk really quiet through the trees, and if you break a stick, you get a really dirty look from Freddy. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, things are going exactly as planned. We are about to intercept the elk on top of the ridge. Are we that good or are we lucky? There he is, right in front of us. We got that big six out in front of us. I think he's the late bull. He's about 300 yards. They're gonna work their way back over this top. We're gonna get down below him when we got the wind right. We're gonna try to slow soft cow calls. Three bulls we've been hunting for a little over two and a half days now. Uh, we saw them up in this meadow over the hill where we've been seeing them. So we worked up and kind of put a stock on them and they, pushed, they went ahead and grazed up the top. We got up there, almost came together. We were about 150 yards short on it. Well, that didn't work out as planned. It's fun, a lot of stalking this morning, a lot of working through the trees, doing our uh, ninja style stock thousand to 1200 yards across the canyon and we got them at about 300 yards and last night they gave us the full cold shoulder shook us we never even saw them because they'd moved over to this hill and then we caught them this morning at 150 so we're almost there almost there so if we could get them 50 yards maybe 60 max we'd take a poke at them but we're gaining we got so close to those elk we had a six point bull behind us we had a six point bull above us but they just weren't as big as what Adam was looking for. We have one more night. Let's get it done. I have such great respect for Adam's discipline and positive attitude. 
He never gives up and always continues to inspire. So it's uh, cooled down about 20 degrees and it is becoming very fall feeling. Bottom line is we had three bulls this morning that were working their way back down into this area that we were after. So we're hoping it'll go full circle and they'll come back in tonight. We had another herd as we can tell from the road that just moved in so they're in here somewhere as well. Uh, we're going to go hit the blind, we're heading straight to the ambush. Come join us. Wow, that's a cool three right through. I'd shoot that one. It's like a white tail. I think I can kill you a deer here again. We are seeing deer everywhere, but where are the bulls? There they are. And what do we have here? Two older, bigger, mature bulls that we saw earlier in the day. But once again, just too far away. For the bull to move into the garage. We just need to put an arrow in his lungs. Let's do this. Here we are on the last day of Adam's hunt. We have come so close so many times. All we need is one more chance. So this morning we were back in the same canyon that uh, we've been hunting quite a bit and we snuck over the ridge, found a, a group of four younger bulls, the same ones we saw last night, but there was two little bit better bulls with them last night that weren't there. look back on the other ridge and uh, we spotted a herd, a bunch of cows with a herd bull and uh, possibly another satellite bull. So we made the decision and just took off, just hauling butt, moving as quick as we can, trying to get up ahead of them. We had some pretty good distance to get there. set up and it was perfect. We had the satellite bull came, oh gosh, 10 yards from us. He's just right below us and he kind of made the herd a little nervous because he could start picking up a little bit of wind, but he didn't really bump. A satellite bull is a lesser non-herd bull that hangs on the outside of the herd. We had a couple quick shot opportunities on him, but you know, it's just a beautiful ranch and you come here for the experience and they got huge bulls and I've been blessed enough to, to harvest in the past so we were really looking for a little bit bigger caliber bull. And then the big herd, they started coming across the top and they worked their way 40, 45 yards. So we let these two uh, beautiful younger bulls walk. They'll be great bulls in time. And, uh, and it was fun though. It was your heart's racing. You got these elk in your face. You can smell them. You can see them twitching their ears and blinking. I mean, it's just, that's what it's about right there. That's why you archer hunt. That's why you elk hunt. Getting them in your face bugling. It was a great experience. Perfectly happy that, uh, that we didn't kill a big bull. Obviously I'd love to kill a big bull, but the memories are the big piece. You get to walk away with those memories and uh, and that was fun. It was a great week. Thank you.
come to the Hard Type Ranch for the experience and the chance at a bull of a lifetime. And we had some awesome bulls this morning, but we decided to let them live, get a little bigger. We'll come back again and uh, get after a big boy. As Adam returns to his family and his role as COO of Big R Stores, he takes with him the memories and the beautiful week stalking a growing herd of elk at the Hard Ice Ranch. Maybe we'll see him back soon, really soon. Come join us for a hunt. Come join us for a summer adventure. Just come join us. Create some memories with us. We'd love to have you. For more content, don't forget to check out the Hollywood Hunter YouTube channel. And check us out on Pursuit TV. To learn more, check out freddyhartice.com.